up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the official Ladies introductions. Here is This Bruce is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds, fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, Sneha. All right, come into the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, not fight. This fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 approach. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do. Oh! He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Outstanding kick there by Lee. 
All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't ah. take so many upside the head. Somebody's going to sleep. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Leg kick lands. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Oh, single collar tie here. Lee gets the tie clinch here. Good punch lands. And he landed the right hand there. Nice body kick. All right. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Head kick, that's a miss. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Look at a warrior at trying to shut the liver down. Not there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. That's a big strike right there. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Way to hide that leg kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And there comes the separation now. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Went for the inside leg Back to the feet. gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is gonna start to drive knees over and over. You gotta be careful here, you gotta move. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Oh, nice hook, that was a crippling shot right there. Threw it real tight, elbow tight, big check in it, landed it right on the chin. Right hand on point. 15 seconds remain in the round. In the tie clinch, look for the knee to start. Head kick lands. Just out of range with the big right hand. We now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Three. Listen, that was awesome. I need more of that. I want you to go out at the beginning of this round and be aggressive. Peace. Round two underway. Big call for punch land. Now we get back to range. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, that kick is good by Lee. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. 
All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make you pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. I mean, this is his game here. Control your opponent's posture, land those nice elbows around, the, around his guard. Real quick leg kick. Right punches there. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent... Oh! Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, what a punch. Oh, and he caught the kick. Jockey in for position in the clinch. Both fighters here trying to get a more dominant position. Got the single collar tie. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh. Everything works off of the jab, doubles up on it there. Nice, sneaky head kick. Big punch lands over the top. I'm just gonna follow this one. Comes in close, controls his opponent's posture, and lands his nasty over. Hook attempt now, blocked though by Lee. Oh! He's out! He's done, he's done! Oh my goodness, what a fight. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight, but both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart one guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. All right, Bruce Buffer now inside the Octagon has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Lugliano is going to stop in this contest at two minutes, 13 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Dave Well, oh, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.